Hi, welcome to the Clarity Mobile App 3.1.1 Supportability and Feature Training. My name is Santosh Panchali and I'm a product manager of Clarity. In this session, we will cover enhancements made to the Clarity Mobile App in this new release. So, what's new? In the My Timesheet space, ability to view and navigate to more time periods has been added. These more time periods are now available in the timesheet review and approve space as well. Just to remind, until previous release, only current, previous and next periods were available. In addition, in the timesheet review and approve space, a few more enhancements have been made, like ability to filter timesheets pertaining to reports of one or more resource managers. Bulk actions like approve all, return all timesheets at once. And why is this important? In the My Timesheet space, showing more time periods provides the ability for timesheet users to navigate and enter time for time periods other than just current, previous and next periods. And in the Timesheet review and approve space, showing more time periods provides ability for timesheet approvers to navigate and review time for time periods other than just current, previous and next periods. And filtering on resource managers provides ability to timesheet approvers who have access to a lot of timesheets to filter on timesheets pertaining to reports of one or more resource managers. And why are bulk actions important? Reviewing timesheets one by one could get tedious at times, especially when there are a lot of timesheets to review. This functionality provides flexibility to review time at a high level and either approve all or return all timesheets at once. Now, let's look at what's changed. In the My Timesheet space, a new More Time Periods button, which also has a count of time periods, is available below the current, previous and next period cards. Tapping on the button would display a scrollable list of timesheets of the past time periods. When the list is expanded, the button name changes to hide additional time periods, tapping on which would collapse the list. As you scroll the list, a back to top button appears. Tapping on any of the cards would navigate the user to the timesheet details page with a back button to navigate back to the list. And let's see what has changed in the timesheet review and approve space. This page too has access to more time periods to select from. Navigating to this page lands on the current period that is labeled. User can scroll left to view more past periods and scroll right to view future periods. Tapping on any of the time period will open the timesheets list for different statuses for that particular time period. Next, a filter button is now available in the review and approve page. Tapping on the filter button would bring up a page with a list of resource managers that the user has access to. Once a filter criteria is chosen, the filter icon turns solid, indicating that a filter is in use. The applied filter is displayed below the search box and this is retained across logins. To remove the applied filter, a clear filter button is provided. And now let's talk about bulk actions. For timesheet reviewers who would like to review the timesheets at a high level and take an action in bulk, there are now approve all and return all buttons to do the same. Tapping on either approve all button or return all button would prompt the user to confirm their action. And upon confirmation, all timesheets will either be approved or returned accordingly. On successful completion of the action, a confirmation message is displayed and the page is refreshed with the new counts of timesheets for different statuses. All right, now let's go through a demonstration of the Clarity mobile app enhancements. Okay, I have launched the Clarity mobile app and logged in as Nick, who is a timesheet user. I am on the My Timesheet landing page. Now, in addition to current, next, and previous period cards, 
a more time periods button is displayed with a count that signifies the number of past time periods. Once we click on the button, past time periods are displayed in a chronologically descending order. As we scroll the list, a back to top button appears. Clicking on the button would take us to the top of the list. Tapping on any of the cards from here, say this card, will take us to the timesheet details page. Clicking on the back button would take us back to the list of time period screen. Clicking on hide additional time periods button would collapse additional time periods list. Next, let's review the enhancements made to the review and approve space. Here, I'm logged in as Rosie Miller, who is a resource manager and a timesheet approver. And now I'm on the review and approve landing page. As mentioned earlier, the time period carousal now shows more periods than just the current period, previous period, and the next period. Like in the prior versions, the current period, which is labeled accordingly, is selected by default. However, scrolling to the left would display more time periods of the past, and scrolling to the right would display future time periods. Tapping on any of the time periods will open the timesheets list for different statuses for that particular time period, as you can see here. Next, tap on a different period. And let's talk about the filtering by manager capability. This may be useful in cases like you've been given access to a lot of employees timesheets, even though not all of them are your direct reports, or you might be a proxy for a peer manager who is on vacation. For example, in this case, Rosie is seeing that there are 32 timesheets to approve, but she knows that not all of them are from her direct reports. So, a filter button is provided next to the search box. Tapping on it would bring up a screen with a list of all resource managers. There is a search capability provided in case you need to search for a specific manager. Let's search for Rosie. And select from the results. Next, tapping on the back button would apply the filter. Now, the filter button turns solid, indicating that a filter is in use. The applied filter is displayed below the search box, and this is retained across logins. In case you need to remove the applied filter, a clear filter button is provided. And as we see from the results, the number of submitted timesheets came down to 15. Now, let's talk about the bulk actions. Rosie may review the time logged for each of these timesheets at a high level. If she feels OK to approve these timesheets, in prior release, she would have opened each timesheet and would have approved one by one from there. However, in this release, she can approve all of them at once using the Approve All button. Let's go ahead and do that. Doing so brings up a prompt to confirm the action. Let's confirm. A confirmation message is shown after successful completion of the action and the page is refreshed with the new counts of timesheets for different statuses. Next, let's take a look at return all action. For this, let's open another time period. Let's review the submitted timesheets. 
Since the hours locked on these timesheets is not sufficient, let's go ahead and return all these timesheets. Let's confirm our action. A confirmation message is displayed. And now we can see that the timesheets appear under the returned bucket. This brings us to the end of the demonstration. Here, I would like to mention that while I have demonstrated the functionality from an Android device, the same functionality is available in the iOS version of the Clarity Mobile App 3.1.1. This concludes the session on Clarity Mobile App Enhancements.